In the given diagram, we have a portion of the curve y equals x squared. Because PA and PB are parallel to the two axes, AOBP is a rectangle. Given that point P falls on the curve, we need to determine a ratio among the three areas. For simpler representation, we can start with setting the distance of AO to lowercase a and the distance of PA to lowercase b. This means the coordinates of point P is a, b. And because point P falls on the curve y equals x squared, we have b equals a squared. Hence, we can easily obtain a combined area of 2 and 3, which is a triangle of base A and height B. This triangle is also identical to area 1 because AOBP is a rectangle. So now we just need to figure out either area 2 or area 3. And it will be easier to calculate area 3 directly using definite integration, because area 3 is the area underneath the curve y equals x squared from x equals 0 to x equals a. The definite integral as shown here will be its area. 0 is the x-coordinate of the starting point at the origin, and a is the x-coordinate of the ending point on the x-axis at point a, whereas x square is the expression of the curve between the two points. Essentially, this expression is asking us to determine what gives x square after taking its first derivative with respect to x, and the answer to that question is 1 over 3 times x cubed. We then evaluate 1 over 3 times x cubed at the two endpoint x values. The zero term will go away and we get area 3 equals 1 over 3 a cubed. Therefore, we can obtain area 2 by subtracting 1 over 3 a cubed from their total. This gives 1 over 6 a cubed. So in conclusion, the ratio of the three areas is 1 over 2 a cubed to 1 over 6 a cubed to 1 over 3 a cubed which simplifies to 3 to 1 to 2.